Alright, SOBs. Lee and I, we're here at uh, Collier's, uh, Collier's Mills Wildlife Management Area. This is Turn Mill Pond. We're waiting on Dave and Ray. They'll be here eventually. And bug spray. Maybe, yeah, yeah, they're supposed to bring her bug spray. So if she doesn't get bug spray and you see her freaking out at some point, you can blame them. <laughs> wasn't my fault. I didn't know. I mean, it was kind of our fault. We should have grabbed it, but my backup's on the way and they better come through. All right. So we're here mainly for catfish. We're going to see if we can catch any catfish, but you know me, I brought way too many, too much tackle, too many poles, hiked it all out here. So I'm going to use some, try to catch some bass and pickerel, some really anything else that's in here. But uh, we're going to start for the catfish, get everything set up and uh, let's get Let to go. it. See what happens. All right, guys, gonna launch out the first one. This one's like a uh, treble hook, bait keeper hook with uh, the power bait, like doe catfish bait. Now, I've had luck both ways with multiple different types of bait. You'll see the other type I'm gonna use. But I like to try a couple different kinds of bait. Now, what I'm gonna do is set my drag so if I get anything, you know, probably, hopefully won't pull my pole away. And uh, we're gonna let that sit. Get another one rigged up. All right, this is the next one. It's like a bait holder hook. I don't know what size it is. And uh, I normally use chicken breast, but I didn't have any. So this is actually like um, pork stir fry, like this pre-cut pork for stir fries that you could get. And I have it soaked in like some garlic and uh, cherry Kool-Aid. I've had a lot of luck on this with chicken breast. I don't know how well it will work with this pork, but we're gonna see. All right, set that one down. See if we get anything on them. All right guys, just gonna chuck around an inline spinner a little bit while we're waiting, see if catfish are active and eating yet. Okay, got bumped by a pickerel there at the last second. I see the pickerel. I lied, it wasn't a pickerel, it was a yellow perch. Top of it looked like a pickerel. When it turned, I could tell it was a yellow perch. So maybe we can get on a panfish or two, maybe. That'd be cool. All right, gonna try the crappie magnet. Well, the crappie magnet rig with a, like the Bobby Garland little live shad thing on it. Oh, uh, had a hit. Oh, the new uh, record. What the fuck? Uh. Listen, but like, just what I saw with it, like. This was a really fucking. Yo, 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 yo. Whoa, 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 you scared the shit out of me. Just got a hit, like, like something just slammed the hell out of that. <laughs> Yo! Get the shit out of me! Damn! Yo, something slammed the hell out of that thing. I saw it coming back up. Well, why That's don't you it? hurry up and catch something and I'll record it. Backpack and all. <laughs> Everybody saw that, right? The pole almost just got pulled into the water. Come on, hit it again, buddy. Saw a bunch of bass busting the surface, probably way out of casting range. But we are gonna throw the whopper plopper to make Dave happy. That's it, they way over there, Brian. <laughs> I got a sinker you can put on the front. <laughs> Definitely 
Raise on with something on an ultralight pole. Is it just weeds? I don't think so. Oh, is it catfish? What kind you got? Channel? I think so at least. Baby, baby channel or big bullhead? Looks a little yeah, it's a big bullhead. It looks like Ted. Yep, that's a big bullhead. Hear him talking shit? Check it out, guys. Ray's got this monster of a bullhead. Look at that guy. Bullhead. Look at him. Getting hits on the catfish rod. Got him. Maybe. Yeah, I got this. I got him. Yeah, doubled up. He got one on the plopper, though. What'd you get? A little. Oh, he didn't, couldn't get it. What was it? A little big bass. <laughs> a pickerel? I snagged a pickerel. I snagged the pickerel. How does that even happen, bro? <sighs> well, I'm not sure how it happened, guys, but snagged the pickerel. There he goes. All right, SOBs. Lee and I are going to work on getting out of here, packing up. At least I, I caught that pickerel. Um, not really, it was just foul hooked. I don't even know how that happened. Me and Ray were talking about it. Maybe it was like going through the weeds and just hooked up on itself as it was, you know, stuck in the weeds. But uh, we're gonna get packed up and we're gonna get out of here. Um, at least Ray caught that one nice catfish. And I told, they're probably gonna stay out here for a little bit more. So I told them to send me some pictures. And if they catch anything else, I'll be sure to put it on right after this outro, you know? any pictures of some cool things they catch if they catch anything let's be honest if but Big hopefully if. they do hopefully you know hopefully but hope you guys like this video if you did hit that like button <laughs> drop a comment tell me if you've caught a catfish yet this year subscribe you can see all my new stuff coming out till next time guys Peace. got a fish on the plopper makes me feel like i need to take out a plopper it's a pickerel caught a pickerel on the plopper Take whatever. My man. Fish to fish. Hey.